Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, I will be with you with a uh, rivet family to how to make a kerbal like this. This is a kerbal, concrete kerbal, like this or like this. First, we have to open a rivet and for families create new, new family. And because we have a column, so we are using a metric column and open after that we have width and depth okay so we can make an extrusion or rectangle like this and locked in place so by this we we could uh, make a column and finish edit mode after that go to back side and we can paint here locked and this also locked like this after that <coughs> sorry after that we can make uh, we can go back to our reference here we can uh, make some reference planes uh, or we can start from backside first. Uh, we can make uh, some reference planes. One we have for the height of the kerbal, and the next one for the level. We have this one level, and this is the height of the kerbal. Uh, let's say this front front uh, height and this is the total height from here to here this is the total height of the kerbal and we have uh, below width of the kerbal and we have the width of the kerbal I will explain uh, this now okay so what will be the, the, the shape of the kerbal it will be like this and this and this and this like this so after that uh, we can make a uh, good create and make an extrusion uh, for this time we will uh, use a line from here to here to here to here and here and also here after that escape two times uh, we can move these and move it back so as to be pain locked in place this locked in place and this also locked in place also this one locked in place so all of them are locked now so uh, it's okay <coughs> sorry now I'm using uh, parameters for parameters uh, and go to annotate align dimension this from this we can uh, use this one for the uh, level of the curve and this to this front height and this to this total height this to this below height and this uh, sorry let me delete this from the reference plane uh, to it from the reference plane to this is the width and from this to this is the below width I can make this one to turn so to be uh, a little bit smaller after that I go to modify, I select this one and select this one I will put the parameters uh, create here uh, kerbal level ok and this is kerbal width Uh, this curb height ok 
Okay. This is front. Front height. Okay. Now this is below width. Or bottom width. Let me uh, name it Corval. Corval bottom width. And okay. Now everything is okay. We don't have anything else. So what I have, I have to go to our plane like this. We can pin this one. Uh, sorry, cancel. We can move this one. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Cancel. We can make the this one with the width of the column, or we can change it. For example, with this one, we can paint, or we can make two re uh, other reference planes. Uh, now I'm using this one is to be with the uh, with the column depth, but if you want, you can choose two reference lines and uh, make it smaller than the column. And locked in place, this to this locked in place. Now what remains? Go to back uh, back side. We have to join these to this as we see it's now joint now the uh, the column is joint go to 3d we can use uh, or we can see like this uh, we can uh, create a new project okay and go to our family load into project here we can put it like this and escape to, uh, two times to 3d and as we see it's like this we can edit the type edit type and we can change this dimension corbel with it for example we are saying 250 and the for the corbel head we are saying 600 and the curve level let's say uh, 400 the width the curve width let's say 500 and the front height let's say 250 and apply as you see it's like this okay because we put the the level if if we if we put the levels or increase the level for example this one let us say 6000 and after that go to 3d you see this is uh, became fixed because we put a uh, level if we don't put level uh, the curve will remain here and remain in the same place uh, so that's why we put the level uh, if you go back again to the edit type family type and uh, change the level for example uh, we have a beam 800 we can change it easily okay as we see it's a very very easy for us now this family became uh, available for us where we want we can use it if you uh, see here we can you can uh, make it a better uh, here we can change the, the depth. This is the curve, curve width. We have the um, this one. We can change it. Uh, which one we can? We can the front height. The front height we can make it 350, or we can make it 40. It's as design. We can change it, any parameters of it very easily very easily and as we see this is joined to it together now the family became 
available. If you want for, for the another side, like the, the picture, like this picture, for this side also, we can make it. We can make it this one, this one. You see, it's in the two sides, in the two sides. And as you see, you see, it's like this. We can make it like this by what? By changing the parameters. By changing the uh, parameters. Let's select, change type. Uh, front height and the height, it will be the same. Front height with the height, where's the height? Caliber height is 600. We can make it this one 600 and apply. Okay, as you see, now we can like the picture, like this, uh, and not like that. I hope uh, this is useful for you, and uh, till the next tutorial. Uh, I hope you su subscribe and like and share this video so as to be uh, useful for uh, your friends. Thank you very much.